you have been told that your fetus has a sacrococcygeal teratoma, an SCT. Uh, under the circumstances of that diagnosis being given to you, uh, it is almost always correct. There are a few instances where misdiagnosis is made, but generally speaking, the diagnosis is relatively straightforward. That does not mean that you do not require further evaluation. Further evaluation should be performed by somebody with an experience in prenatal diagnosis. The issues for your fetus are the makeup of the tumor itself. Tumors which are predominantly cystic generally have an excellent prognosis. Tumors that are predominantly solid tend to have a much worse prognosis. This is not because the tumor is malignant, but because the tumor grows rapidly and requires a very large blood supply. That blood supply has to be supplied by your fetus's heart. This puts stresses on the heart, resulting in heart failure. The person doing your sonogram has to be knowledgeable in detecting subtle changes that will result, that are the result of your fetus developing heart failure. This comes in two different forms. A sonogram that you are already accustomed to, wherein uh, your fetus is generally examined, and a second one called an echocardiogram, where the actual functionality of the fetus's heart is assessed. Both of these are very important for detecting heart failure before it becomes flagrant. Once heart failure is flagrant, generally it does not take a sophisticated diagnostician to recognize that, but then things are much worse. So in the world of trying to do the best thing possible for your fetus, it is important that uh, somebody skilled in recognizing developing heart failure is conducting your examination.